Let me tell you a story about go-karts and acid. My buddy, old dog, loses control of his uh, go-kart, careens right into a pipe, splits his penis right in half, <gasps> right down the middle. I'm talking the whole length of the thing. How you doing, sweetheart? Is this stuff scary? Stuff that I'm telling you? Yeah. Yeah? Well, it should. It should scare the hell out of you. This guy is so hack. I mean, next thing you know, he'll do the old Kleenex through the septum story. Who here knows what a uh, septum is? Sweetheart, you know what a septum is? Mm -hmm. No? See your nose right here? Mm -hmm. It has cartilage in there, and that's what divides the two nostrils. I can't believe it. Shh. She's just trying to listen. My buddies and I once did so much blow that my best friend septum totally disintegrated. He could take a Kleenex and stick it up one nostril and bring it out the other. Listen, these are scary stories. But did I think I could just show up here and tell you a few scary stories and my job would be done? No, not by a long shot. What we have to do is connect with each other and learn to understand each other. So I'm going to be here all week. We're going to uh, break off into smaller groups so I can get to know you guys. All of you. So you can understand my story, my message, and my life. What's going on with everybody? I mean, everybody's like acting weird and freaky today. What about me? I'm too busy teaching adults how to read. Ugh, I thought we already determined that this was lame. Whatever, I've done lamer. Oh yeah, lamer than that? I don't think so. Oh yeah. I was walking through a sliding door, but I neglected to see that there was also a screen <laughs> door there. I entered a regional jam making contest with jalapeno jam. Well, I wore corrections on my shoes. I watched this old house with Bob Vila. <laughs> I entered an invention fair with a combination nightlight blankie. I think you may have clinched it on that one. You think? <laughs> um, hey, I'm going to this lame thing. It's just this lame dinner thing on this lame Friday. And, and I'm, you know, if you're, uh, you know. Lame? Yeah, lame. Free. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that would... <laughs> That'd be cool. Hey, my people. Phil, I wanted to talk to you about maybe getting uh, legalization on your platform. No. <laughs> hey, hey, don't do me like that, my man. Not in front of my peeps. Come on. Why are you talking like that? What? It's pot talk. It's not a pot talk. There's no pot talk. Whatever it is, I think your peeps are a little busy over there. Yeah, go ahead. Let's see. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so uh, it's to my understanding that you are all sophomores and uh, juniors. Damn, some of you don't look older than that. Okay, so what if I told you guys about a quality that I knew of that was so attractive? Strength. And strength, my friends, is so attractive. Hi, I'm Greg. Stella. Stella. All right, Stella, why don't you tell everyone here about a time in your life when you had to be strong? I mean, really strong. Well, um, when my grandpa died last year, my whole family was at the Cape. No one I knew was even in town except for Ismay, and she speaks no English. So I comforted my grandma all by myself and took care of her and everything until my family could get back. Wow. That kind of strength, the kind you need to resist drugs or to stay clean, or if you need to, to comfort a grieving relative like that can be so attractive. That was great, Stella. Okay, so uh, what about you, sweet pea? It's Miranda. Oh, I know who you are. Okay, Miranda, why don't you tell everyone here about a time in your life when you had to be strong? I mean, really strong. Okay. Um, well, I was seeing this guy, this man, really, and he wanted to go hiking. So I took him up to Half Dome. 
been up there a lot. But he fell, and so I had to carry him back for three miles so that he wouldn't hurt the fracture. Wow. Can I tell you how attractive that is? You know, uh, there's nothing better, nothing sexier, Miranda, than a woman with that kind of strength. Nothing. What about you? When did you need to be strong? How about going here? I mean, three guys, 197 girls, some of them hostile. I'd say that, that would take some strength. Okay, champ. Hey, uh, what'd you say you needed this for? Phil, he's starting some smear campaign against his opponent. I guess he's convinced that the guy has roosters living in his backyard. I mean, which violates, like, health and wild animal <coughs> ordinances. Hey, dude, if you're gonna hurl, just do it out in the hallway. It just cleaned up. No, I'm just agitated. All right, there's been this drug counselor at school. This guy, oh, Tillman, he just... Tillman? Like Greg Tillman? Yeah. I, I know Tillman, man. He goes here to Stanford. I, I love Tillman. Once he snuck like 50 people into the lap pool in the middle of the night, and then he rigged up this big screen television, and we all watched Jaws in the pool in inner tubes. Tillman rocks. Greg Tillman? He's awesome. I went to his bar mitzvah. You went to his bar mitzvah? You're not even from around here. Yeah, I know, but that guy has got away with people. So, so what? You think he's like cute? Oh, sweetie, cute does not even begin to describe it. It's more like a... No, please, just don't describe it at all, okay? I don't want to hear it. All I know is he's leaving, and my life will return to normal tomorrow. Ew, look at all those zits. Wow, that is so cool. Which is why I am now announcing my candidacy for city council. I will now open up the floor to questions. Yes, Kerry Bastin from the Workers' Hemp Coalition. Do you realize that this city could cut its cost of rope by 70% if it switched to hemp ropes? No, no, I did not. But if that's the case, I will surely look into it. Are you saying you support the legalization of marijuana? Huh? Oh, no. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. You attend Evergreen Academy, right? Yes. I heard they recently had to bring in a drug counselor. Is this due to your soft position on drugs? No, no, it is not due to my soft stance on drugs. In fact, I, I hold quite the opposite position. Now, now, certain people in this world use drugs to make them cool or to get them chicks, but I, I abhor these people. I won't allow myself to be dragged down by them. I won't allow it in my school, and I won't allow it in my city. Finally, the reign of the penis splitter is coming to an end. <laughs> exactly. What's up? Dude, try and talk low and don't move your mouth so much. Why? If you talk low, the mics can't pick you up. <clears throat> now, if you don't move your mouth, they can't get a lip reader to translate the videotapes. Who is they? They. Them. Don't you get it, dude? First they bring in this drug counselor. Then those reporters ask Phil all those questions. Where do you think they got their information, huh? Dude, they are so onto us. <laughs> 